The stone monkey marks the initial stage of the ultimate boss encounter, yet it can be viewed as a distinct adversary. Similar to the battles against the Red Boy and Yaksha King, defeating this first phase grants you a checkpoint. This means that if you happen to fall in battle, you won't have to start over from the beginning of the fight. Taking down the stone monkey's first health bar should be relatively swift and straightforward. His attacks mainly consist of standard swipes, but be cautious of his ground-pounding move, which sends shockwaves that you'll need to jump over. Things take a turn for the challenging in the second phase. The stone monkey unleashes a rapid and fierce expanding ring of fire that then retracts back towards him, requiring you to dodge it twice. Once he reaches a certain health threshold, he splits into two separate stone monkeys that attack at the same time, one wielding fire and the other frost. Additionally, trying to immobilize either of them will trigger their most devastating area of effect attacks right away. The strategy here is to concentrate on one monkey at a time. With the Jingu Bang in hand, build up to four focus points and unleash them to inflict significant damage on the monkeys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.